Konnichiwa, news about your boy Kog, better and rash video. And today, we guys, we're doing a video that's an hour and 30 minutes. Mind you, hour and 30 minutes, 18 seconds. Um, this is actually uh, recommended to uh, to me by you guys. Uh, like I said, if you guys want me, me to react to a certain video, I'm always open in the comment section. Just uh, always be open in the comment section. Just be down there commenting and everything. I'll be replying to all the comments, stuff like that. So, you guys want me to react to something, I will be down in there. If you guys want to leave a comment and stuff like that, like leave a like a link for a video and everything like that, I will be down to do that. This one is called FGO Saber Servant Tier List. So, if you guys did not know, one, I'm on FGO. I haven't played it for now a month. Almost going on like two months now. If you guys didn't know, uh, you should see a, um, a card right here showing um, FGO streams is like a playlist of all my streams like in order chronological order and everything like that I have been playing if you guys want to go check those out you can also well I do have another playlist that's gonna be similar to this one because I don't know if it's gonna be parts or not I think it's gonna be parts like 20 30 minute parts for this hour and 30 long minute video um, yeah cuz I did this before I had did um who could be Gil who could be Gilgamesh, which is my favorite servant, which is funny because my favorite servant is the Archer, but I love the Saber class as a whole because I love Sword stuff like that. It's kind of funny. And then also, I like, King of Sun is my second favorite, and he's an assassin. But anyway, we, uh, we're we not even going to get into any of that. Um, Yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, So basically, like I said, this video is an hour and 30 minutes, and I did this with the Who could be Gilgamesh because I think the Who could be Gilgamesh was like four hours or something like that, and I had to cut it into, like, I think up most of like seven parts so this is gonna be part one of this most likely so um i think i'm gonna end it at a certain point where like probably is like well i don't know how he's gonna do the tier list but i'm probably gonna end it around 20 to 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes maybe i think yeah i th i think that'll be the best option yeah but just let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I, the duration of the video should be if i kind of cut them up some parts or like when i should stop after like a certain part of the video because i remember you guys did that to me before with the gilgamesh mission video but anyway guys it's a whole lot of talking um i said like subscribe on the video the button because you make click all to so enough to make a future upload and yeah so um without further ado guys let's get right into this so play good Morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, fellow masters. My name is Masaki, and today we're going to have a different type of video for you ranking each servant in each class. And of course, I can't do such a thing on my own, so I enlisted the help of the lovely Tristan here. We are going to take on this endeavor together. With this little intro out of the way, yeah, okay, I thought I was right. King of Sons and Assassin. Sabres to start All right, my bad. I, I just need to check that out. I just have to double check myself. Alright, let's get into it. Kadea Girus. This video is brought to you by Opera GX. The Opera GX browser is the world's first browser for gamers. It is the tailored browser for the gaming community. For example, one of the coolest things that I like is the fact that you can put your Twitch, your Twitter, Facebook Messenger, even Discord to be directly on board in the browser that's really cool on top of that it has a whole host of features that allow you to play your games with little interruption as possible like the fact that you can limit the cpu or ram usage directly in the browser as well as limiting the bandwidth that the browser takes up is a whole host of customization as well it has forced dark pages first of all and second of all you have multiple different ways you can color customize background music oh, geez, i have black and red it's simple it works there's also the gx corner which tells you one what games are releasing and what dates for a good amount of time as well as updated game news and free games you can just download it links right to the website where you can download so for real i actually tried out opera gx about a month or two ago just to give it a shot and honestly I love it. It's really good. I use it actually as my regular browser every day. Definitely give it a shot. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and put the download link in the description of the video. Go ahead and click it. Try it out for yourself. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. And now back to the video. This is out of order because of how I saved the picture. So we're going to start off with Saber Alter. 
Where does she land here? On Salter, tree? let's see. Uh, like currently, like right now? Yeah, like right now. This is 2021 as they stand. C. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, my biased answer would put her at like A, but like my objective answer would put her at A plus. So your bias is to lower her, but objectively she's higher. Why is that? Even even taking into account like before, like like look, look at Salter as as a unit and how she's grown and evolved. Mm. Right? She was she was used a lot more than Artoria. Like before, yeah. Artoria had her battery because oh. she did. She had the same MP ch MP charge on her overcharge that Artoria had, but did more damage than Artoria. Really? So, like, so she was actually better than, than battery, original Saber. More valuable. Just because Artoria has a higher battery doesn't lower the value of Salter. Just the fact that Salter now has a battery just increases her value. Not for me, the fact that she's story locked. If she was a uh, if she was a permanent gotcha, I put her in A plus right off the rip because that way it's easier to get copies of her. Granted, all right, someone pause right quick. I know it's like a long video, like so I'm gonna do this stuff in parts anyway, most likely. So he said that story locked, obviously. So story locked. I think if I got it correctly, you can only get it during the singularities, right? You can only get this 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 um this servant during the singularities. So that means you can't like you really can't get an MP5 with her that easy, right? But I want to ask. So right now, for real, we're on Salter. They put them in. They put her in A plus. Do you guys agree with that? Also, as well, how many of these servants was it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So was it? That's sixteen. So that's sixteen, thirty-two. Um, three, three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine. So forty servants. So it's forty servants in total. How many of these 40 Saber Servants you think are going to be in EX? Or you guys already seen the video? I'm pretty sure you guys probably already seen the video. I don't even know if you guys already seen the video. But how many would you actually put these 40, not these, from these guys' opinion, but how many of these Sabers would you put in EX? How many of these would you put in EX? And be and be honest and be truthful why you think they should be in EX. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I say, just give me, give me your opinions on that. All right, so... Let's get back into it. So play. Sure for like the free SR tickets, but we don't sure. And that's and that's why I think it's and that's why I think it, it balances out against the five stars, right? Mm. Because being a five star, you might as well be story locked. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha is as unforgiving as RNG, right? That is so actually So getting true. getting a copy of a of a servant in any regard is is nice and great. All right, well. It's just especially recently considering the five star ticket that's coming up. Uh, that's the only time we've gotten that. So, mm -hmm. throughout the six years that this game has been out, we've gotten six four-star tickets. So, hypothetically speaking, not saying people would do that, but you could have gotten Salter on five of those tickets and now have an NP5 Salter. Oh, okay. That's how you right. can... Okay. Well, I, I that makes sense. With that would be the A plus for Saber Alter. Next, Saber! But now we come to the pretty boy, Vanilla Boy. Proto Arthur. He still needs some help. Uh, he does and i think because of that like he he does get damage um but they still didn't change his large enemy to giant enemies that still believe that's different because david actually his his it. third his third skill is still technically a dead skill outside of the battery uh, for me so there's no i would i would keep him at b, you would keep him b. so there's no need for his third skill at all second skill mm, trash okay. like my my bias would be put him at A because he just looks fucking cool. The, the hood man. Look the at the fucking. He's fucking cool. Fucking Sorry. Proto Arthur. <laughs> rip. <laughs> but I would keep him at B because his third skill holds him back. But his second skill is a three turn fifty percent crit damage, and like a thirty bomb of crit stars. Yeah, that's not. So bad. like it's really strong. So like face card wise, he can kind of face roll a little bit if you work on a crit team with him which is really nice and not too hard to do in, in terms of like aoe farming you know we have salter right just base cards gonna be doing more damage uh i also just think that the fact that he doesn't have a charisma really hurts him because yeah. he only has he only has that one steroid his car he's a double buster double arts but he only hits one time on his buster cards twice on his arts cards 
right? So he kind of he kind of really suffers a little bit. Being a cardboard cutout means you don't. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm pause saber. again. I'm gonna pause again before we get to the next save. I'm gonna pause again. Wait, did he just say that they, his cards only hit one to two times? So his Buster card only hits once. His R card hits twice. What's the point of that? What is the point of that then? If his hit count is so low, it is he has to be at the bottom, the bottom then of Sabers then right now, huh? Doing something like that, or is he still kind of somewhat, somewhat decent? Like. I don't know. You guys let me know. You guys know more than me, obviously, with the FGO right now. Because like I said, I've only been in it for, like, going on two months. All right, so, play. Next up, we got Artoria. Regular Artoria? Regular. She should be, like, A, a plus. Yeah. Like, I, I would keep her at A+. Plus. For me, it's like, she's been through so much. Like, I remember back in the day when Artoria first came out. You know, her last skill, because you know you level, you love all these five stars, and that the last skill that you get in the third ascension, and it's a crappy instinct skill. It took a lot of time <laughs> crappy. for Artoria to be really, really good, or, in my opinion. But they finally got there. Plus permanent, so you can always get spooked by her. Uh, I just, I wouldn't put her at EX. I would keep her at A plus. Correct. You know, just, just like, off the rip, because I don't like. I don't think her second skill warrants putting her at EX. Mm. Is it a good skill? Yes. But, like, it doesn't really change anything. It's still just a, a one-turn, like, n like nuke. But it also forces you to, uh, to choose, right? Like, oh, do I use it for a Noble Phantasm? Or if I have these crit stars, do I then use it for face cards? Also, like, if it was for three turn, I think it'd be an easy EX, but one turn is, um... Like, one turn obviously makes it a little bit more balanced, because it, one, changes all of her command, all the command cards to Buster, Even and it increases her MP damage, right? Like, it's a 30% MP damage up and a 50% Buster up. That's really strong. That is really good. But the fact that it's an MP damage up only for one turn, and the fact that it changes all of the command cards, like, you are now forcing players to choose between this or that which in a gameplay sense i guess you could say as part of the strategy but it actually limits you and inhibits you which should never be i was always not good to like change Saber. your cars like that oh. my bias this, wants gonna, me to this put is her at EX. my my <laughs> bias wants to put her at ex but like what? physically hurts me to say she's a she's one of my favorite characters just in fate in general mm -hmm. but like she, she just belongs there you know like, her NP is really bare bones. Like, it's one of the most basic bare bone NPs in the game. I'm not even joking. Like, no extra effect on on the NP itself. Really basic overcharge. Already got a strengthening, yes, to increase the damage output, but it only hits one time. There's no extra buffs on it. No, like, d doing extra things to the enemy. No it, special damage increase. It's just a flat one-hit AoE. That's all it does. Her <laughs> skills are, no plus or are nothing. middling. Like she got her uh her buff to natural body, but natural body even of itself is really rough because we still don't really have offensive debuffs being applied to our servants even now. Uh so like you have literally half of the skill being dead in natural body, which is why you don't really see units uh with natural body anymore. And then her first skill got uh Mili the military tactics upgrade to Scourge of God, which is really good mm -hmm. because it increased, it's a three turn 20% MP damage up and an AoE uh, defensive buff removal from all enemies, which is incredibly strong. Right. But it, but like, it sounds her strong. Entire kit still holds your back. And the fact that once again, her, uh, her, uh, uh, command cards, right? Double Buster, double Arts, but she hits like once on her busters twice on her arts so on and so forth so she's just really not hitting like as strong as she should be the year there's one servant more, suffers so much there's just more and more shit that they have to contend with it's not fair next saber i'll tell you what else isn't fair the fact that Benefier is story locked that's not fair <laughs> he's like a solid b mm, he's so good like like like, he's a solid B, and he's, like, one skill buff away from being, like, an A. 
and that shows you the power of the saber class. I, I say one, if he would have got a, a more a, another skill upgrade, he definitely would be A. Yeah, two, like if, if he was, got a skill upgrade. And two, if he was easier to get as well. Like if you're forcing people to go into the hell that his story gotcha. And Just wait for it, very specific uh, rate ups for him. Exactly. He might as well be limited. Story Gotcha is just saying they're limited. He has a flat 30% uh, battery, which is like not bad. Like not bad in any regard. If he had, like, I don't know, some kind of. Some pause like, again. So attack basically, up. these locked like a, story like a, servants, a, a basic, since like, they don't come around that often like that. Charisma, it's I really hard so to obtain. Better. It kind of lowers their value in a sense. With the buster up that he is has, that what it is? Well tactics, or granted, is it just hard to get them because of a certain part of the story mode really they're at? Is the fact that you're standing next to Proto Arthur is good company. What is it? Truly, so yeah, you know? no, where, where it's where he belongs. He obviously has All right, so to let's get back to it. Right. Next saber. Next up, we have Umu Bride Nero. Oh, Claudius easy Bride. ex. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, this is not a Nero bias, but we do love Nero at the Caldea Gurus. But seriously. I mean, like, I, I, Nero is one of my top like waifus of all time, but. I don't even put her in EX because of my bias. I put her in there because, objectively speaking, she's like one of the best supports in the game. She literally does everything you want her to do. Oh, like... you, you want you want some you want an MP an MP uh, generation rate? All right, I got you. You want a an attack up and a star uh, generation? Oh, rate? Those... all right, I got you. You want some healing and a defense up? All right, I got you. You want me to walk the dog and do the dishes? I can do that too. I'll wash your car. I'll clean your bathroom. I'll go and unclog the toilet. I'll clean the drapes and I'll dust the blinds and I'll floof your pillow. I'll make the bed. I'll do the laundry. She just really? literally does everything. And then they buffed her. Yeah. <laughs> They gave her a fucking targetable 30% battery on the 45% three turn NP generation rate up. So like you use her, you give a targetable 30% battery on top of a three turn 45% NP charge rate up. Like you want to talk about looping? She's up there with Tomomo, Castoria, Scotty, Waver, Reigns, Merlin. Like she's up there for supports. You can say whatever hold you up, want. Hold up, hold up, pause, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is the first EX of the video, right? I seen one of y'all guys had Nero Bride, right? How do you get Nero Bride? Is that like a thing that comes out with her rate up? Is that a thing? Is that like, but how do you supposed to obtain her? And she's really this broken? Like she's really this broken? I said, I like sabers. I know of Nero, but Nero bro, she's this broken. She can do all that, literally anything you want. MP gang, whatever, it don't matter. She got it all. Don't matter what it is. Wow. But the thing is, you guys, you telling about the servants that's like the must haves or like the ones that's like kind of the top tiers. I've never heard you guys talk about Nero bro, and then they talking about her like she just. A cut above them all right now, as far as all the ones you talked about so far. I mean, you talked about so far. Is she really this broken, guys? Really? Is she? Is she? Is she got a rate of sometime in the near future, man? I need to try to get her, pick her up. Obviously, saber class and all too. I need to pick that up. But yeah, anyway, guys. Um, she ran into it. Sorry, I've been pausing a lot. I don't like. I said, I'm kind of going in the fence if I'm gonna do a full video of this or if i'm doing a part i don't know yet but it looks like this is gonna be interesting we might just do a whole take of this video on so you're not gonna lie to you guys all right play oh like oh she's a nero and she's a saber she's obviously designed to be a dps based off of her noble phantasm but like you're not you're lo not looking at the bigger picture mm -hmm. literally uh ssr swiss army knife she can be your dps but she can pretty much fit any other support role as well. I can be your angle or your diva. Oh my god! Ah. God damn it. Yes, our first EX is Nero. So she's a top right, support. Next, Saber!